Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, today I'm going to talk to you guys about the fix for your AGP uh, Gen 2 magazines. Um, I had bought about 20 of these early in the year. Um, I had some problems with the followers getting stuck inside the body. Now AGP was pretty good. They 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 did swap out the ones that I had a problem with. Uh, the replacement ones that I got, they were working pretty good when I got them. Um, you know, now, like, I don't know, eight months later, uh, some of them, they're still getting stuck in the body. So if I push this down, you know, you can see the, it kind of gets stuck in there. So I don't know what's causing that. It just popped up. Um, I had bought about 10 of these AGPs about 10 years ago. Um, those never had this problem. They were flawless. Um, uh, these do, um, I... I'm really too busy right now. I don't have time to be sending these back and forth because I need these to be working with. So uh, a quick fix. Uh, basically, we're just gonna, you know, we're just gonna do a little grinding, a little sanding to uh, get the follower to fit inside the body. So first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna put on some safety glasses because I already got hit in the eye with the end plate today. So I forgot to put on my glasses. Make sure you got your glasses on because you know these things are under spring tension. So we're gonna push on this little button here. Push that in and just cover it with your hand so it doesn't go flat. Right, right. Get, get this out. You can see as I'm pushing, the, trying to pull the spring out, it's kind of getting stuck. That's the follower sticking to the side of the body. There it goes. Okay, let me get that. I'm gonna need that. All right, so we got this done. Uh, another useful thing is I put some duct tape around these magazines. Uh, basically, I just labeled this one bad, uh, threw it on the side, and then this way was when I'm not busy, I can get around to, to fixing it. Okay, so uh, first, you know, let's work on the follower. Uh, easiest way, get yourself a, a belt grinder, a belt sander. That should be good on that. Next thing I'm gonna do is uh, on the body. What I find is that most of the tightness seems to be at the ends rather than the middle. Um, so I'm usually able to reach it with this. Uh, there's one that I have that the tightness is in the middle. Basically, I gotta get an extension for this drill to get to the middle. But let's see how this works for me. A lot of tightness is over here on this side and that side, so you want to eat into that a bit. It's pretty soft plastic so it'll move pretty quickly I mean I am using some coarse sand too as well uh, I'm gonna get in here basically this should fit in there nice and smooth try not to hit your feed with Got a lot of material out of there. Let's just, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna drop the follower in there and see how it moves through it, the body. So, I can see I still have some tightness on the end over here. Okay, so follower is moving nicely through the body. When it gets down here, uh, there's, a, there's a bit of tightness, so we're gonna work a little bit on that. Actually, let me put this in there and kind of eyeball this and see there's a particular side that it's sticking out. It looks like it's uh, mostly front and back. That's where the tightness is, front and back. I 
Actually, one of the things we want to do, pull this out just a little bit more to give it a little bit more reach. Not more size. Just like. In there. Still got a little bit of tightness. Let's see what our tightness is. Yeah, this is more towards the middle. I may end up having to get an extension. See if this will work better if you oil it a little bit too, but for now I'm just trying to make sure this fit is right. So I can still see I got a little bit of tightness in the middle. No, not too bad. Should work. We'll do this again. Should be able to move the follower through without any resistance. Yeah, make sure you got some glasses on because I already got hit in the eye with the end plate. No major damage, but no reason to take that risk. Uh, when you're putting this in, there's like a long and short end on this that sticks out. The long tab goes towards the curve. Put that in. Hold that in place. So when you put in the end plate back in, um, there's like a little bit of lip over here that goes towards the curve. So the side that's fl flush basically goes on the back end. Okay, looking pretty good. Not getting stuck anymore. So uh, really easy fix. Uh, you just basically need a, a belt sander and a drill with a, um, a sanding drill bit, you know. Um, easy fix. Uh, like I said, um, if you contact AGP, they'll definitely fix this for you. They'll, they'll exchange them for you. But um, like right now, I'm just too busy. You know, I'm, I'm running all over the place. Uh, you know, training people. So I, I just basically I need the magazines back up and running. I don't have time to wait for shipping back and forth. So uh, that's the quick, easy fix for me that works. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're not a member of my channel, subscribe. Drop a couple of comments below if you have any your own ideas or your own experiences with these uh, AGP uh, Gen 2 uh, magazines. It's actually posted right there. Uh, but uh, all right, thanks for watching. Talk to you guys soon.